we are live. It must be Friday. I have had so much fun putting this sale together today. So welcome, welcome, welcome. All of you who've been here chatting for a little while early. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, I hear an echo in the other room. You know why? Because I have a secret friend here who is helping me get set up for my yard sale tomorrow. <laughs> Just heard yeah, and I can't close this door either. So we'll work it out. Um, so I got good stuff. I just want to like all of you kind of coming in and, and I do this too now because some of you don't get here right when I start and you're not seeing this right on the live. So I'm just going to say this. If you if you are seeing this and it is not like 102 p.m. Pacific time, that means you're probably not up with the regular part of the live sale right now. And somehow YouTube brought you to the beginning of the sale. But here's a little here's a little gander at all of the cuties and cool stuff that I have today. Let me show you a couple highlights. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. This little guy right here is Rosenthal. He's my little $150 Rosenthal ducky that I am going to sell to you guys. And I got the first time you guys asked me to like offer like the glass and like the really good stuff. I got super nervous. I got to tell you. And now I'm like looking like, oh, what would they like me to put in the sale? Because I know you guys are going to make it worthwhile. And I just realized something. This is going to be a little embarrassing during the sale because I meant to take all my old price tags off of this stuff. And you know what I didn't do? I didn't take price tags off of all of my stuff. So you're just going to have to forgive me for that. <laughs> you know where I get all this stuff. Anyway, I have a fairy lamp. It is a Fenton fairy lamp. It is a signed Fenton fairy lamp. That will be coming up. As well as all kinds of other stuff that you have seen me pick up along the way. Okay, how's this gonna work? Well, the first thing is you need to send an email. Now, this is for those who haven't already done so. If you have already purchased something from me or you have sent the email on a previous sale, you're good to go. If you are brand new to this or you've just been kind of watching in the background and you've never sent that email, we do now require that for bidding because that is the only way we can stay safe from the trolls that love to come along and disrupt the sale. So I don't sell your information. I won't spam you with that information. Just needed to make sure that you are a legit real person who wants to participate in the sale. So to do that, you, you mail, email the niche lady at gmail.com your YouTube name, just as it appears over there in the chat. Same spelling. Don't change anything up. Just like that. Your real name and your shipping zip code. Don't need the whole address unless you want to provide that, but I just need the zip code. That gets you registered. And I have Rachel, who is in charge of double checking on those emails today so that I don't have to stop the sale to do that because we just have way too many goodies, way too many goodies. That was not good English. Far too many goodies. I don't know how that would be. Anyway, have too much stuff to be stopping and, you know, checking on the emails and stuff. So Rachel is going to be checking those as we go along. The other thing we do, and I know a lot of you regulars, you already know about this. We do a giveaway at the end of the sale. If you are here, and bidding and participating in the sale from the beginning to the end. I want to honor you and appreciate you so much. So I give stuff away. And what to get into the bucket, you need to either be the winner or the underbidder in one of the first 15 lots. And underbidder is the person who just missed getting the item because I know that it takes more than one person to make a, a sale happen. So um, you get in the, in the bucket too. Be sure you are in live chat. Absolutely. Your comments show up differently than real time. Just take note of that. That is why we have several moderators over there 
keeping track. And we have a system that works pretty good. I'm not going to say it's foolproof, but it's pretty good and keeps it very fair for everyone. So what I'm saying right now, you're not hearing as I'm saying it. Well, maybe unless you're in the other room. <laughs> ah, that was just a joke for Bree. Um, so yeah, you're not hearing what I'm saying right now. In fact, let's test that. Okay. I want you, when you, when you hear me say this type, I hear it over in the chat. And let's see how long that lag takes, okay? So I'm watching for that to come through. Still not there. Still not there. Still not there. I should count how long that is. There we go. Now, you just heard it. See, that's how much time lapses. So to make it fair, because I can't say sold and just take the person that I see, because you haven't heard me say it yet. So what happens is, and it, I just, I haven't checked in to see which of my moderators is over here today. If uh, Joni and Tri-State Picker Mom could give me a little shout out, let me know you're here, or if somebody has seen them posting. Um, I see Perfecting Pearls. I see Tiger and Bree. I see all of you guys. I know. All right, I'm so, see, I have to wait from the time you haven't heard me say it yet. <laughs> but so what we do is we have one moderator who says, who types out sold when they hear me say it. And that's pretty much in real time. They are not here. I just text, oh, neither one is here. Okay, so, well, up, 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 up. Okay, um, so, uh, Tiger, would you like the honors of typing sold when you hear me say it? It's a big job. It's a big responsibility. <laughs> Let's see if Tiger says yes to that. If so, we'll do that. And then Melissa, uh, would you be so kind as to type out who the winner is for the lot? And we'll, we'll need the underbidder for the first 15, which Bree is keeping track of. But just to verify that. All right, Tiger's on it. Tiger's got the soul. And you guys will see that the moderators type in all caps. That is for my benefit. So I can kind of pinpoint, you know, what's being said by the mods over there. And um, that's how I know if there's an issue because I see it in all caps and that gives me like a little, little heads up. Um, so that's how we're going to do it. Okay. Um, I, but I've, I've got actually Bree's got pencil and paper in the next room. So she's already on that. Um, or if you want to, uh, I, Julia perfecting pearls for, you don't know. I was like, do you ever, does everybody know your name? Like, so when I'm talking to Julia, I'm talking to perfecting pearls there. Um, if you would be so kind as to let people know which lot we are on. So there's no confusion of what they're bidding on when, when I announce it and we get started, that would be awesome too. Okay, yep, that's what you're just saying. So this is how it's gonna work everybody now that we got all of those little pieces worked out. Tiger is gonna type sold when he hears me say sold, which is pretty close to when you're gonna hear sold. And then uh, Melissa is gonna say who she sees as the winner. This just keeps it fair because we see our comments differently than they really are. And that is how we have managed. I, we, we have very few problems this way. Now I do auction style, which means every single item starts at $1. $1, even if it's a $150 duck, it will start at $1. We do $1 bid increments. Um, they have to be at least a dollar, doesn't have to be a dollar. You can do five, 10, 15, 20, whatever you want, but it has to be at least one. We don't do change. And once we get over, I mean, you know, you guys know, if we're if we're getting up into like the, the $30, $40 range, it really helps if we do more than a dollar increment. So let's say over $30, if we could, if we could bump that to $5 increments, that would be fantastic. Um, that would keep things moving slowly. Of course, there are exceptions to every rule as I say that. I know we said 50 before. Okay, we'll keep it at 50. We'll keep it at 50 to bump up to the $5 increments. 
I don't want to totally mess things up. The other thing is, once we get to an item that is at $50 or above, and or once you have spent a total of $50 or more, I give a $15 shipping credit, which usually means free shipping for most of you, unless you buy oodles and oodles and oodles and oodles of stuff. <laughs> and then, you know, I still usually end up if it's just a dollar or two more than that, I credit it. I mean, I, I take care of it. Uh, what else am I forgetting? Um, <laughs> Brie is the underbitter tracker and troll hunter. Yeah, yeah. All right. We're going to conquer these trolls. I'm telling you. We have a lot of stuff to get through today. A lot. So I'm going to try to keep it moving. And I'm going to be calling the end. when I And when I say sold, I'm done. I'm, I'm not going to open it back up except for, you know, very extraordinary circumstances. Sometimes we get something that gets confusion. For the most part, when I say sold, it is sold. So get your bids in. Now, if you want to increase a bid at the end, get like you're at the end, I'm counting it down, and you think you're the winner, but you're afraid somebody's going to come in and snipe, you are absolutely welcome to up your bid without it counting against you if nobody else bids. I am not going to let you outbid yourself. But that is your protection to keep somebody from sniping away your item for a dollar or two, um, is to throw that last bid in yourself to avoid the snipers. Yeah, I got your number, you sniper snipers. <laughs> I really really try to keep it as fair for everyone as possible. I try really, really hard because I know it sucks to lose something for a dollar when you know you would have bid more, right? So I'm going to try to um, make this fair by just saying you can bid more, but I won't take that bid unless somebody came in and tried to snipe it. That's the only way we can do it. All right, shall we get started? And remember, this is all spring themed. I pulled out all the cute stuff for this one. And let me tell you, I'm kind of loving it. Must say. <laughs> I love shopping for it too. I like shopping for a theme that's really fun. So let's go. Let's start off with something easy, something cute. How about a bunny? Now this bunny, I believe it is a stone critters. That is what it feels like to me, but he is missing his little tag. I don't know if that little mark there means something to anyone, but I've had enough of the stone critters in my life to uh, attribute it to that with its little realistic life-like looking little face. And as stone critters do, it's got little wear to the paint. Those are not chips. It's just simply little spots where the black has, has come off, which could easily be remedied. And we are starting him at $1 on the cute little bun buns. Cute little bun buns. Nicey Mary Sprite, $1. You don't have a lot of Easter decorations. Well, today is your day. I've got some really cute ones. I saw Mary first at $1. Now we're at uh, Lana is at $2. Lana is at $2. $3 with Lois. The rhyme. Did I make a rhyme and I didn't know it? I didn't catch that it, there was a rhyme. Um, Lois is at three. Laura is in at five. Laura got us up to five dollars. Laura Goodman is at five. Six dollars with Lana. He is really cute. I am such a sucker, you know, for little critters like this too. Trust me, if Rachel had seen everything here, she'd probably be telling me, you can't sell that. It's too cute. $7 is with Lolo. I'm at $7 with Lolo. $8 with Lana. I'm at $8 with Lana. I'm going to start the countdown. Get your bids in. Get your bins in. I'm at $8. Going once. Going twice. And sold.
And as you can see, there's still some bids coming in after I said that. I will let that finish up. Waiting for the sold, and there it is. There it is. I see the winner as Sue Golombeski for $9. That's what I see. Looks like our backup bidder was Lana Mortsfield. Is it warm here? It is warm here. And it's warm in my house because I have not converted the thermostat over to cooling temperatures yet. It's really weird because it's freezing at night still. Not freezing. Okay. I, I, I know some of you actually are where it's freezing. So my idea of freezing is we're getting down in the 40s still. All right. Call me a wimp. <laughs> All right, our next lot is a Charming Tales. Where's Marsha? Marsha isn't here today. Marsha loves these. Look at these little mousies hugging. Little hugging mousies. He's got his tag. He does not have his original box, but he has his original tag. This is I Love You is the name of this figurine. These expressive precious animals might be tiny but they're cute as a button. Candle holders, ornaments, and sitabouts are sculpted and hand painted with amazing attention to detail, all designed by Dean Griff. Sitabouts, what a cute name for a little knickknack figurine. Sitabouts, I like that. <laughs> um, and for those that don't know that, um, now I don't know the complete history because I'm kind of wondering now, this seems to be an older one. Um, I know Fitz and Floyd is attributed to the charming tales I've seen in the past, but this one does not say Fitz and Floyd on the bottom as I usually see. So I'm wondering if this is an older one. I wonder if Fitz and Floyd bought out charming tales. I don't know what that history is, but interesting. And we are at, I see Warren Hart is at $7 on the little mousy mousies. This could be an older one. Yeah. <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> Angela is at $9. Oh, there's there's no such thing as having too many sitabouts. Come on now. You should see my turtle tortoise sitabouts. <laughs> I see $10 with Warren Hart, $11 with Dana Mason, $11 with Dana Mason. And I'm trying to watch two screens over here. Okay, we're good. Got it. I see $12 with Angela Fair. Angela Fair, that's a name I don't recognize from before. Welcome, Angela. I see 15 with Warren Hart. 16 with Angela Fair. And Rachel, Rachel, could you just make sure that I have an email from Angela? Because if Angela wins, I want to be sure that I have a way to contact her. Charming Tales is by Fitz and Floyd. Just looked it up. I know they are now, but usually they're marked. That's why I was wondering if they've always been or if it's something that happened later. $20 with Warren Hart. Warren wants the mice. Warren wants the mousies. Mousy mousies. I'm gonna say going once, going twice, and sold. Good, good, good. All right, we're moving right along. Where's my squirrel people? Where's my squirrel people? We have two salt and paper, pepper sets as follows. So here's the first one. These are just some cutesy, cutesy little squirrels here. You can see their little stoppers on the bottom. They are not marked. There to go. Good wait, there's more. Look at this. Look at this one. How cute is he? That is light glaring. That is not a chip. My light is weird overhead, but He's got his little acorn. This one is marked Japan on the bottom. So you're getting both sets for one money. 
There you go. Both sets of the squirrels. Both sets of the squirrels. I have Ladale at $5. Charming Tales was at one time made from SIV? 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 Oh, Silvestri. Interesting. Okay. All right. All right. We just got started, Patricia. You're right on time. All right. Kara has done a power bid of $20. Omni Squirrel, Salt and Peppers. Deborah Heimbecker is 25. Now we've got a battle for the squirrels. <laughs> I'm at 25 with Deborah Heimbecker. I'm at 25. Going once. Going twice. That was for the last lot. Melissa's posting that. $30 with Kara. And I'm going to call them. Sold. That was a little change I made too. I used to start the count over again. I'm no longer starting the count over again. That's why I say get those bids in. I won't let you outbid yourself. I won't let you outbid yourself. All right. Now why is my phone chirping at me? Yoshi, go to sleep. Just go to sleep, Yosh. All right, there you go. All right, this next piece is glass. Ah, it looks like Deborah Heimbecker got the squirrels for $31. And Kara was our underbidder on that. Okay, this has a Bristol glass feel to it to me, um, but I'm not 100% sure on that. It's just what I think it is. It's of that era. It's got, these are painted because I can feel the painted texture on these. So this is hand painted with really beautiful butterflies. Let me try to get close up on the butterfly and the flowers. And you can see there's some wear to the coloration, which is really typical for this kind of glass. It is cased. It's either cased or that is a painted on color. Not quite sure on that. You can see here where there's kind of a color variant going on there. And the bottom, you can see it's hand blown. There's the pontal. And I bet you guys want to know. <laughs> Bree, what did I do with my goodie bag with the ruler in it? <laughs> what did I do with that? I said it, I said it somewhere. It's this big. <laughs> We were just talking about, she, Brie brought me this little kit with a ruler and some post-it notes and pens and all those things I'm always saying like, oh, I need that. And um, I didn't bring it in here after all that. Um, where is it made, this piece? I'm not sure where it's made. I'm. It, it does give me a Bristol glass feel, but I can't verify that it's Bristol glass. Is it in the bag in the front room? It is, Rachel. Would you like to go fetch that for me? You are such a good little daughter. Ah, Brie got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get the ruler out here. Dum, dum, dum. Yes, I'm getting ready for my yard sale tomorrow and Brie has come over to help me with that. All right, of course I've got to get to the blue one. Come on, I've got to use the blue one because it just is like a blue day. I even got my nail. Look, Tiffany blue is what I was going for with the nails. Okay. It is, I don't know, can you guys hear my son in the background? He's playing a very exciting game today. He is very loud. All right, uh, five and a half inches tall. It is five and a half inches tall. That's what it is. A sneak peek at Brie. Oh, did you see her? Did you see her come in the door? <laughs> I will ship international, but uh, it is a bit costly. So just, you have to keep that in mind. It's I would say to ship to Israel, the minimum cost to ship is going to be $30, $35. So keep that in mind. 
Um, and you must send an email with your YouTube name, your real name, and your, in your case, send your country. <laughs> Usually we say zip code, but there we go. I saw that, Liz. I follow What the Hales. What the Hales are friends of mine, and they are awesome people. But yeah, I, I've come to know that what they find in their lockers and, and journeys is what ends up in their Sunday night auctions. So, yep. It is a peach. It is a it is a very peachy color. I hope that's coming through. It's peach with white interior. I don't even know where our bid's at. Oh, I see a $12 bid. Is that where I'm at? $12 with Barbara and Bundo? Hello, Barbara. I see $12. And Rachel's checking those emails just to make sure they come through and all is right with the world. Because it's a total bummer when the email doesn't come through and you win something and then I have no way to contact you. I see $13 with Lois. We're going to count this down. $15 with Barbara. Going once. Going twice. And sold. I see Joey Bada Bing 22 in the house. What's happening, Joey? Let's go, baby. <laughs> Those of you who watch Joey's channel, you know exactly what I'm talking about with that. <laughs> okay. I just thought, oh, who won that last lot? <laughs> Where are we at? Oh, I see Lisa Carl. Lisa Carl. Uh, nope, sorry. Barbara and Bundo is at 20. Barbara and Bundo is the winner at $20 is what it looks like to me. Yes, yes, yes. I'm losing because we're talking to Joey. I'm losing, I'm losing track of things. And I forgot. Melissa, are you typing out who the winners are over there? Okay. All right. I keep going through like the, the Goodwills and I'm, I'm looking, it's okay. It's all good. I keep looking at the hats going, I have no clue which of these that are like, it's not my niche. I'm told, I'd be like, I wanted to buy some hats, you know, to be cool like Joey. And I, I don't know which hats are good. I just, I guess I need to watch your channel more, huh? <laughs> okay. This thing right here. Oh my gosh. Now I, I do believe you would consider this cloisonne. It is a cloisonne acorn trinket holder box kind of a thing. It is a very, very deep, deep green on the inside. I don't know if that comes through. It's not black. It is a deep, deep green. And then you've got just all of that beautiful gold and blue and I just love this piece. And on the bottom, eh, decorative use only. We had a little sticker there. Doesn't say who made it or anything like that. But I just thought I would, I would decorate with this. It is cool, right? It is cool. I found this at the San Diego swap meet. I was traveling last weekend. I got home Monday. Got home Monday. I see 25 is with lowest talent, 25. Oh, I got my little handy dandy ruler here. I'll tell you how big it is too. It is, it is six inches tall to the stem. So it is six inches to the stem. I see $29 with Roman Leverance, $30 with Ladale Cole. I'm at 30 with Ladale. 30 with Liddale. Thank you, Melanie. Welcome, welcome. $30. I've got Liddale at 31st, Patty. Got to be 31 or better. 31 or better. We're going once. 
I see your 31. We're going twice. This is it. We're going to call it sold. I love that thing. I just love that thing. Can you guys hear that? I, I'm going to have to give him a little be quiet nudge. He's a little excitable today with his little gaming. I love it, though. I love that he has so much fun with it. He really does. All right. Our winner on that. Let me see. Ooh, we had a little action there at the end. Looks like I see Patty Shaw. I see Patty Shaw at 36. And we're going to call the underbidder Deborah Heimbecker because Deborah also came in at 36 but was behind Patty. Yep, that's what I see. He doesn't always play that loud though. Like, I usually don't even hear him, but I, he's doing something fun today. Okay, I have two super adorable mugs. So I guess I need to take the I need to take the price tags off. Come on now, Danny. What are you doing here? Okay. Talk amongst yourself. Oh, here. I'll show you what they are, and then I'm going to take the price tags off. One is a kitty, and one is doggy smelling the flowers. Um, these are they're dusty inside. Where's, hold on. I was going to say they look new when I got them. Oh yeah, yeah, they're just, it's dust. It's just dust. There we go. Nice and clean. Giftable is like I, what I like to call them. They're in giftable condition. Are you guys in here? <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. I'm really on the ball today, huh? Yeah, okay. So we got the kitty and the doggy. You're gonna get them both because they do match and they need to go together there. Up. Up country. Hold on. The tag is over the name. Do I see $12 with LLB Vintage and Pretties? This is not a name I've heard before. Welcome. Yeah, it's uh, up country, is all it says on the bottom. There you go. So doggy and kitty mugs in giftable, clean, nice condition. And we are at $12. Rachel, just to make sure, do we have LLB? The chat just moved. Vintage and Pretty's email. Let's just make sure. I see 15 with Terry Smith. Thank you, Tiger. Thank you for reminding people to smash the like button. Well, don't smash it. I don't want you to break your keyboard. But yeah. You could hit that thumbs up. That would be awesome. It does help the channel. Her daughter is punny. Oh, is that Linda Barnum? Ah, but here's what I need. If you change, if you change your YouTube name from one sale to the next, I still need that email because I have no, I don't know that. And the only way I can connect is if you send me that email. So, if you please could do that, that would be awesome. All right, we're going once. I see your $16. We're going twice. I'm sorry, I see Ann Mahoney at 20. Welcome, Marsha. Marsha, this is your kind of sale, let me just say. I think you're going to love some of the things coming up. I see Ann Mahoney at $20. Going once. I don't know if I said that already. Going twice. And sold. All right. Stand by. Stand by. Okay. I'm back. All right. Um, the email is not case sensitive. You can do it in caps or lowercase or whatever. All that matters is it's the niche lady at gmail.com. All right. 
our winner is who got that? Ann Mahoney is who I see for $20. There we go. And so the underbidder then was, well, was LLB Vintage and Pretties. So I do, yeah, need, need to make sure you send that email. So if you win in the drawing, I can send you your goodies. Okay, a lot of you are asking about these little guys. I'm putting two kitty sitabouts. <laughs> I like that, sitabouts. No, wait, is that what it was? It sitabouts? Or am I already messing it up? Figurine, okay, never mind. Okay, the little kitties in the basket. There they are. Now these are made by California Creations by Bradley, Japan. There's their little sticker on the bottom. Um, that is not what I, that's not what I paid. Cause you guys know what I paid cause it was on the video. So we'll just do that. <laughs> But whoever got this at a yard sale or something, that's what they paid. So you're going to get the three kitties in the basket with the real rabbit fur. And they have a little Isthmus of Catalina. So these were probably a souvenir purchased over in Catalina. And so since that says Catalina, I went ahead and included the little kitty that also says Catalina on it. The little sleeping kitty. And this one is marked made in japan on the bottom so it is vintage super cute super cute kitties both kitties and sit about that was okay i don't know why it didn't sound right when i said it again okay sit about i'm using that i'm so using that now what do you have in your sale danny i have sit abouts i have really awesomely cute sit abouts I just I like it okay where are we at we are at $36 with vintage and vino $38 with Judy Scallet that is a name that it looks new but you have a Pomeranian so you must be a cool person I used to raise Pomeranians did I ever mention that <laughs> and the video coming out tomorrow oh my gosh you guys I got the cutest cutest thing caught on film but I'm not, I'm just, that's the teaser I'm going to give you. You're going to have to come back tomorrow and watch. All right. We are at $39 with Vintage and Vino, $40 with Judy Skelet or Skelet. I'm probably saying it wrong. Skelet. You'll have to let me know if I butchered it. Um, we all need sit abouts. Yes, absolutely. $40 is where we're at. I'm going once. I'm going twice. We are going to call the cute little kitty cat sitabouts sold. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, thank y'all. That will make things move much quicker today. I guarantee it. And we can get through more cute stuff. You're a sitabout. All right, there's our sold. Our winner is, who's our winner? Ah, you're moving tomorrow. Oh, that is not fun. That is so not fun. That went to Judy Scalet for 42. Judy, am I saying that right? Is it Scalet? I'm gonna say Scalet unless you correct me. So correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, next lot are three kitty cat sitabouts, including this little guy here. Now, he looks like American bisque to me. Like, he just has that look, that the white with the little red burgundy highlights that that company is known for. Um, but he's mounted onto this piece of wood. And the piece of wood here, this base is a piece of unfinished California redwood. This coast redwood is a relative of the giant sequoia redwoods, which are often referred to as the world's largest living things. These trees grow to a height of 300 feet or 30 feet in diameter at the base. Some of these trees are over 3,500 years old. This piece can be used as a paperweight or a blotter, can be glued to the underside. Okay, so there's number one kitty. 
Number two kitties are these little tiger striped kitty cats, but they are kitty cats and they are not tigers. They are just tiger striped kitty cats. And they are not marked on the bottom, but most obviously, obviously vintage. Maybe they had a mark at one point and it's just gone. So that's the second one in the lot. And the third little guy has a mark that I cannot read. It is this, this little cutie. Now note he did, he did get a little boo-boo along the way. I think it's the only casualty of the trip. Um, but there is his mark. I do not know that mark. Maybe some of you know that mark. But you're getting all three of the kitty cat sitabouts. <laughs> and we have a high bid of $25. Now $30 with Deb Sherman. $30 with Deb Sherman. I'm keeping an eye out front because I have stuff out front. And I just saw a big vehicle go by. Uh, let's see. We're at $30 with Deb Sherman. Going once. You guys are all talking about being sitabouts. <laughs> That's funny. Going twice. And sold. Oh, we're totally making sitabouts a thing. Uh, I'm, that's what today is all about. It's all about making sitabouts a thing. Yes. Because, like, figurine, eh, knickknack, eh, sitabout. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> okay, I get to say my favorite word. It almost sounds bougie. <laughs> All right. That went to Deb Sherman for $40. That means Deb Sherman is only $10 away from free shipping. That's how it works. Okay. Ah, this adorable little pair of pixies. Now, I was in the right place at the right time on these because literally the oh wait uh oh whoop, 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 whoop. let's go back here see what happened i had deb i had deb sherman at 40 and there was no bid above 40 so deb deb sherman was the winner there what did i miss i see somebody said that um Terry Smith one, but I don't see a bid by Terry Smith. Bougie, bougie means fancy, but not, it's the appearance of expensive fancy, but it's not. Does that make sense? You know, it's, oh, it's bougie. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's just a word. <laughs> right, we were at 40. Yeah, okay, not boogie. Bougie. <laughs> I don't even know how you spell bougie. Oh, it's B O U G I E. Okay, we'll take it. All right. Okay, here we go. We have some more sitabouts, some really adorable sitabouts. Okay, you're going to get the pair. Now, check this out. He's got a squirrel. There's my squirrel lovers, and he's playing a little, he's playing a horn, I think. I'm not sure what he's doing. Why? What? I think he's playing a horn. I think that's what he's doing. Okay, we'll go with that. And uh, there we go. Oh, but he's just not even the cuteness of this all. Look at her. Look at her face. Okay, so she's playing like the harmonica. Look at she's got a little sleeping mushroom next to her. Come on now. Hey, focus, focus, camera. Look at that. Look at the mushroom. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> And now they once upon a time these were marked. You can see, but it is gone. So I don't know who makes these. She has a very familiar look to her, but I don't know what it is. Like oh wait a minute. I I just I, I want to read that. Belly belly mushroom. Okay, let me hold these up. I don't know why my light is so intense. I wonder. Let me see. Let me see something. 
Is that too dark? No, see, it's the light coming in the window. You tell me, is that better or is it better with the light on? A horn or a plunger. Yeah, I think they're playing instruments. They are playing instruments. But I want to see what you said about bougie. Wait, I must read. Bougie is hip hop slang for something luxurious in lifestyle, yet humble in character, influenced by and often interchanged with the slang. Bougie. I still read that bougie. Okay. Yeah, it's it appears fancy, but it's really not. Light on. Rachel says light on. Okay, we'll go back to the light on. And we are at $35. Who's got 35? Who's got 35? I didn't see. Barbara, it's it's the jewelry sale is 25. Jewelry sale is 25. Hard goods sale is 50. Because the shipping for hard goods is so much more than the jewelry. I would just be giving stuff away if I did 25 on because sometimes the shipping is $16, $17. So I can't do 25 on this sale. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who does free shipping at all. So I have $40 with Tina. $40 with Tina. $40 with Tina. We're going to count them down. Going once. Going twice. And sold. I'm so glad they're going to be in a new home and appreciated. Yeah, so the lady was literally unpacking when, when I was in her little room at that little thrift antique store. I don't even quite know what you call it. All right. Those are sold uh, to Tina Reed for $40. Okay, I know you guys love these guys. This is a blue bird of happiness. Oh, that was right on cue. Little Scoopy's chirping in the background. It's a blue bird of happiness. This one is signed by Ron Ray, 1992. There you go. You can see it on there. 1992. Bird of, bird of happiness. Bird of happiness. We're starting them at a dollar, but we're already jumped up to 10 with Marsha. $10 is with Marsha. $12 is with Helen. $12 is with Helen. 14, Jolene, confirm your $25 bid. Just confirm that, that you didn't mean 15 on that. And I will take that bid. Um, but I guess you guys really want him because Lorraine is now at 35. We're power bidding. Okay. I see 35 with Lorraine Lowry. Lorraine Lowry, Melissa is at 40. You guys really like these birds of happiness. $40 is with Melissa. $40 with Melissa. Going once. Going twice. I see 45 coming in, but I'm still going to count it down and say. Sold. Rachel will check if Joanna Cooper's email came through. Since you are asking first without bidding, I'm assuming you're real. <laughs> All right. The next, the next thing I found, you guys, that I just, oh, these guys melted my heart. And I probably paid way too much for them, but I could not. You have not seen this video yet because this video has not come out yet. But I had to include them in the sale. Hold on. I'm taking the little, it's not even the price tags. It's just the strings that the price tags were on. Ah, oh, come on. Get off of there. I should, I should show you what they are and then I could do this, huh? But not because I'm going to have to get scissors on this one. Oh, goodness. Goodness. All right. I have... That went to Roiline for $45 on the last lot. Okay, I have more Bluebirds of Happiness coming up. So you're going to get three Joseph Originals bunnies. These 
are the, you know, they have the, you heard me talk about Joseph originals. These are the, the ones with the black eyes. These are the older version. Now this little guy, he was, a, oh yeah, he was another casualty of the trip. He did get a little, little boo-boo on his ear. Where's his little, there's his little, here's his little tag. Okay, but you're getting three in this lot. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at him with his little loppy ears. That is not a chip. That is a piece of sticker on the back of his head that will come off. There's his label. Okay. Okay, so there's two. And then this is a little bit of a smaller one. So they're like a little happy family. He's got his little ears up in the air there. And he does not have his little tag, but he is very obviously of the same maker. So all three Joseph Originals bunnies. I don't want to clank them together, so I'm not going to try to hold all three of them up. And we are at $40 with, I saw Pamela, Pamela 13. Pamela 13, that is a new name to me. So let's just make sure we got your email. Angela Fair is 41. Helen Booty, 42. On the three Joseph Originals bunnies. I was with 42 with Helen first, Sue. We need to be 43 or better. They are. You can see like, oh my gosh, when I saw these, I'm like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got to get those. 42 is with Helen Booty. I've got 43 with Angela Fair. I've got 45 with Pamela 13. Pamela 13 is at 45. At 45, I'm going to start the count. Going once. I know, the one with the ears back. Yes. I see your bid, Sue, at 46. 47 because we had Helen at 46, going twice. It's a battle to the finish, as I call them. Soul. All right, laggy, laggy, finishing up as I wait to see who the winner is. There's our sold. So it looks like that went to, I had, I see Sue Golombeski at $47. Is that who you see too, Melissa? There we go. Sue Golombeski for $47. And I hope you guys are keeping track of the underbidder because I am not. <laughs> You need to pretend to be doing the laundry. Oh no, Tina, you're gonna miss so much cute stuff. Laundry, laundry can wait. All right, my blue bird of happiness people, you are gonna get two of them in this lot because these are a little smaller than that other one. So I'm including them both together. Now, one of these is signed W. Ward is what I see there. W. Ward, 1993 on that one. And this one is signed Ron Ray. There you go. 1988. Ooh, that's an oldie. This is an old one. And you are going to get them both. Two Bluebirds of Happiness for one price. I see Alice Davis at 20. Melissa is at 25. Kara's power bidding. $45 is the bid to Kara at $45. She knows how to make this work. $45. At $45, I will start the countdown. Going once. We're at 45. 50 with Melissa. Going twice. Got to get those bids in. Hit that button before I say. Sold. Go. Ah, okay. All right. 
I'm, this is all going to be about pulling your heartstrings today, guys. I'm just telling you. Yes, Mary, we do everything in auction format. So I don't call them offer ups. I call them auction. This is an auction. And we start everything at a dollar and it goes where it goes. Let's see. There you go. Wow. I see Roylene got in the $50 bid. I see Roylene at $50. Melissa, I'm sorry. Your bid just came in a little bit too late. A little bit too late. And I'm looking outside again because I saw a car go by again. Make sure nobody's like grabbing stuff off my driveway. Okay. You thought those last Joseph Originals were cute? I just can't even with these. You're going to get four. There are four of them. Look at... They're the little babies. They're the little babies. Little baby Josephs. Ah. I'm gonna, I'm, I don't want to drop, so I'm going to handle one at a time because they are so dainty. His little sticker simply says Japan. There it is, Japan. He has a Japan sticker. But these are absolutely the Joseph Originals, just like the other ones. This one doesn't have his Japan sticker, but there you go. He's the same little bunnykins. And, of course, you're going to get the one little lop-eared guy. There's always that one little lop-eared guy. He's got to get in on the action. No sticker on him. So two of them have the Japan foil stickers. Two of them do not and nothing on the bottoms oh gosh they're so cute and they're so dainty okay i'm gonna lay them down in my hand because i do not want any broken ears just so you see what you're bidding on all four of the little bun buns little bun buns the little baby bun buns and we are at forty dollars with kara forty dollars with kara I'm going to count them down. We're going once. I see $40 is a high bid still. Going twice. And sold. Go back on the little shelf, little bun buns. There you go, little bun buns. All right. Okay, when we're going to keep rolling with some happiness. How about some more happiness? You're killing me, Smalls. I told you today, oh, today is like, oh, I love all this stuff. I love it all. Okay, this is my final lot of bluebirds. This is the last ones that I have. Um, this one is one of the double with the heart. This one is signed Ron Ray, 1992, I believe that is. And then I've never seen a miniature bluebird of happiness. Have you? Look at this tiny little guy, little teeny baby bluebird of happiness. And this one is also signed W. Ward. So it's W Ward over on this side. There we go. And it's dated on the other side because there wasn't room to put it all on one side. So oops, let me find. Oh, it's so tiny. It's so tiny. Nineteen ninety-three. I was showing you the wrong. I was showing you the signature again. Nineteen ninety-three. I'm like, that doesn't look like a date. There it is. All right. You have the miniature? I'd never seen a miniature. Never seen a miniature. So you're getting them both. You're getting the double and the miniature. And we are at $45 with Melissa. $45 with Melissa. And I'm counting down. Going once. Going twice. And 
So, there we go. We're all bluebirded out. All right, this next item, the last item to get in on the drawing. And this was a very, very asked for, I can't tell you how many emails I got asking me to sell this cat outside of doing it in live sale. And I decided, nope, I want to give everybody a shot at Little Miss Pink Kitty. Little Miss Pink Kitty is uh, just amazing. She's got her little green rhinestone eyes that my camera doesn't want to focus on. I don't think my camera likes bling. Come on. Focus. There you go. There's her little rhinestone eyes. You can see she's not perfect. Even looks like a little, little, maybe a little spot of glue, like it got glued back on. She's got rhinestones around her neck that are not perfect. You can see there's some discoloration, some maybe a couple little missing ones right there, but that's pretty easy fix. But the rest of her, there's no chips, no cracks, on cute little pink with no mark on the bottom, but she's so very 50s. I mean, she just she just says 50s. And we are at $65. We are already at $65 with Vintage and Mino. That means she's free shipping now for anybody playing along. This She qualifies right now. She's your free shipping opportunity for the rest of the sale. All right, we are at 60, what did I say? 65. We're at 65 with Vintage and Vino. 65 Vintage and Vino. Going once. Going twice. And sold. You might even say she's bougie. <laughs> okay. I do this to myself every single time. You guys know what's coming up, right? When I say that, you know what's coming up because I do this every time I forget to bring a box in here. But today's mystery box offering is a little different than I normally do it. So here's the deal. I have to get completely caught up on my inventory. Because what happened, I sold so many mystery boxes and I custom curate those that I was not happy with the stuff I had to put in them. I had to go out and find things to fill mystery boxes. So to give myself a little break this week, I'm still doing mystery boxes, but they're going to be spring themed. So basically what the, the mystery boxes are, are things that I didn't have room to put in the sale because I can only do so many items in this short a time, and I want to put spring-themed items at this time of year so that you guys can have your Easter and your spring-themed stuff. So, I have, I have three, I have three available, because you guys know I do this too. I have three mystery boxes, spring-themed mystery boxes available. Um, there will be no questionnaire this time. It's these are they are going to be a mystery, but they are all are you see what I like to select. It's this kind of stuff. It is stuff that I have purchased to add into the spring sale that I just ran out of room for. So can it be something from my store spring? If you see something in my store that you'd like in your mystery box, you can absolutely tell me that. 100 percent 100 percent All right. So I see Anita Kennedy at $50 starting it off. I have Anita at 50, which means it's free shipping. It's a free shipping mystery box now. So 55 in two places. I see Samantha and Mary at 55. I see Dedelia Camellia. We need to check that name and make sure we have your email because that is not familiar to me. But I like I like the sound of it. Dedelia Camellia. Okay. 
I see Jill at 55. I see Barbara and Bundo at 60. Helen Booty, I think you mean 60. Um, Anita is at 75. I really, I stress over the mystery boxes. I never want anybody to get a mystery box and they go, ooh, why'd you put that in there? I mean, I want, I want you talking about your mystery boxes out there. Like, so I, I, I put a lot of thought into them. Yeah, we need to do $5 bid increments. Where are we at? We are at, I thought I saw 75. Yep, yeah, Anita is at 75. $80 with Sue Golombeski. All right, we're going once. We're going twice. Thank you, Rachel. And sold. Now let me see what happens here. And this is what I do. Da, 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 da. I will take let's see. I'm waiting for that sold to come through. There it is. Okay. So I have $85 to Mary Spry, Dedelia Camellia, and Sue, can you do 85? Is 85 okay for you? For uh, Sue Golombeski, if you'll just verify, then you will be my third winner at 85. Let me just wait for Sue to verify. And then we are rocking and rolling. Wait and wait and wait. But we have the first two. So Rachel, you can start filling in the first two. And okay, and Sue wants the third one. So Sue Golombeski, Mary Spry, and Dedelia Camellia are the winners of the mystery boxes. And I'm, I'm looking over at my spreadsheet to make sure that Rachel's staying caught up over there. All right. Okay. Let me get this little girl down and let me tell you her story. Now, I hate, I hate shipping cookie jars. I just want to tell you that. Uh, <laughs> So, but here's, here's going to be the deal on this. She obviously is going to need to ship pretty much by herself, unless you got something small that I could pack down inside of her. She's not going to qualify for combined free shipping. Now, if she goes over $50, she herself will be free, sh free shipping, but she's, her whatever you pay for her does not combine into your other items she will be shipped separately what am i talking about i am talking about this okay before you start bidding let me explain the problem now this is a really rare cookie jar it is a 1958 deforest you can't find them only one i found was 100 and I want to say 150 is what I found out there. Now, what I didn't see when I bought her, she's had surgery. Her ear has been surgically reattached. Or maybe she just had an ear lift. And, it, you know, it's not so good of a plastic surgeon put her back together. No, but it's actually, it's a, it's a really good repair um, with just very little glue. The fact was, I didn't see it when I bought her. Did not see it. That is her only issue, except for the normal little wear and tear. That is not, what is that? That's just a little glaze missing. It's not a chip. It's just a little glaze missing right there. Normal wear and tear. But I wanted you guys to know that before you started bidding. But here is the rest of her. She's the real thing, the real deal. Super expensive cookie jar here. If you guys go look at comps, I almost just listed her myself, but 
I thought I would give her a shot here. See, there's her DeForest, 1958. She's a California pottery. And yeah. So if you go look up DeForest cookie jars, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Go check eBay sold right now. These are big, big money. If I were to list her in my eBay store, I would still list her for $100, even with the repaired ear. She's still worth 100 bucks all day long. Here's your chance to own her. We are at 25 with LLB Vintage Pretties. We're at 25 LLB. I'm at $30 for, with Vintage and Vino. Yeah, I'm not going to take a chance of dropping her head off again. But it's a really good repair. Like, you really can't see it. $30 is where I'm at with Vintage and Vino. Evander Bunnyfield. <laughs> $35 with Melanie Shannon. $35 with Melanie Shannon. $40 came in first with Angela Fair. Angela Fair is at $40. $40. I know you guys are, are finishing your research now. That's when the bids start coming in. I can tell. $50 with Roman. $50 with Roman. That means free shipping. Now she will, she will ship with a $15 shipping credit and may not quite be free shipping. It'll be close. 55 Angela Fair. 55 is with Angela Fair. $60 with Patty Shaw. 60 with Patty Shaw. Going once. I'm going twice. And I'm going to take her head off to put her back on the shelf. We're going to call it sold. Goodbye. That's B U Y. That is a very good buy. If you're a reseller, you can still make money on her. There you go. Let's see. There's my sold. Looks like that went to Angela Fair for $65. Max and Ruby cartoon. I don't think Max and Ruby is from the 1950s, though. Aren't they more 1970s, 80s? Maybe, I think 80s. All right, I have too many things in the way. Come here, little, little bear bear. All right, this is one I didn't quite. I started to get the price tag off of this one. Oh, I just ka -chinged. I just ka -chinged. I saw somebody asking for my eBay store link. There is a link in every description of every video that I put out. If you want to go shop my eBay store, if you just use that link, it lets me know that you came through my videos. Also, if you go to my store, this is for, this is for my viewers only. If you go shop my eBay store and send me an offer, make sure you tell me you were one of my viewers. I'm a lot more likely to accept your offer if I know you are one of my viewers. Just a little side, little side there. But please, please, please don't ever watch me buy something at a thrift store that's not listed in my eBay store and ask if you can buy it that way. Always send me an email. I can't answer those messages through eBay. I get in trouble. eBay does not like that. Okay, we are bidding on Muffy Vanderbear. This is the 10th anniversary Muffy Vanderbear, as you can see there. And it says, Happy Anniversary. Hello, everybody. I know it's hard to believe, but I've been around since 1984 AD. That does not mean, however, that I am 10-year-old bear. On the contrary, those are just people numbers. P.S. And for those of you who really must know, in bear years, in bear numbers, I'm hardly half that age. Now, it looks like somebody did go over a couple of the letters with a pin there. So the box is not perfect, but she's never been out of the box. And she's got her little, you know, her little happy anniversary, little taggy tag there. And I see $10. Um, 
No, because I'm watching the chat come through. So Lorraine, maybe refresh and make sure you're in live chat. You might be seeing things a little out of order because of lag or whatever. But no, I'm watching. I'm waiting for, for the sold after I say it. Just just so everybody knows. Like it's yep, no advantage. All right. I see $20 with Warren Hart. $20. I see $30. Lorraine Lowry. And we're bidding on Muffy Vanderbear. Muffy Vanderbear. It is a Muffy Vanderbear. There we go. Thirty dollars. This is Lorraine Lowry. Thirty dollars. Going once. Going twice. I see thirty-one with Warren. I'm not going back though. Time to get the bids in, cause I'm gonna call it sold. I'm gonna see what happens. And I see $33 with Warren Hart. Oh, and in case I didn't mention it, Bree, you don't need to track the underbidders anymore because we have our entries now for the drawing. We just need winners now. Winner winners, chicken dinners. Warren Hart got Muffy Vanderbear for $33. All right, I picked this up out of an antique store. Again, you haven't seen the antique store video yet. It will be coming soon. So unfortunately, people are going to be asking for this stuff, and it's going to be sold. But here's, here's what I could do. Here's what I could do. If you purchase one of the items today and you're a reseller, that is listing this item let me let me know in an email that you're a reseller and if somebody asks about an item I will send them to you how's that how's that okay we have the bunny canister with the blue she's the door I'm gonna take it apart just for ease of showing you um, there's no marks on the bottom except a little label missing kind of adhesive there um, I didn't fully get the price sticker schmooze off so but here is her little face now I did see one I thought I saw one no maybe not maybe I'm dreaming I thought I'd seen one little glaze chip but now I don't see it must have been something else I was looking at no nope, she just she's good she's good to go all right we are at, oh, you just got your amber bowls. Yay. Yes, Fort Knox packing. That's me. Uh, let's see, $28 with Tina Reed. Yeah, I have to give a big, oh, here it is. I knew I saw a little tiny glaze chip. It's under the lid when the lid is on, but I do, I do want to point it out. One little teeny tiny little glaze chip. But when this is on, there's an overlap, so you don't see it. All right, we're at twenty-nine dollars with vintage and vino. Twenty-nine with vintage and vino. Oh yeah, I was gonna give my mom the shout out because mom was here for the weekend while I was gone, helping take care of pets and kids and all that good stuff. And she stayed one more night so that she could help me catch up on shipping on Tuesday. I don't know, mom, how many packages was that? Like, oh my gosh, there must have been at least. 40 packages we got done. <laughs> it was a lot. So mom helped me catch up on shipping. So a lot of you are getting packages today or tomorrow from the past sale. All right, we're at $29. Did I say going once? Going twice? I think I did. Sorry. But now we're going to call it sold. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I couldn't have done it without her. I actually, I am in the process right now of hiring somebody to help with shipping. I have to let go of my control freak, control freak nature of needing to do that all myself because I can't, I can't. That's a full-time job now. I have come to that. 
I have to hire somebody and hope that I train them really well. And so that's that's what's happening starting it. Because this is a lot of shipping, you guys, on top of my eBay shipping. So and then, you know, I'm juggling like, oh, make videos, edit videos and everything else. So, yeah, yeah, it's all good, though. It's a good problem to have. I am not complaining. No way am I complaining at all. OK, this I picked up at the swap meet. Look at this cuteness. Oh, my gosh. Now. This originally, whatever dealer had this at their antique booth, Happy Easter porcelain box. Now they have HP 1920s. It's not from the 20s. It is not from the 20s. I mean, they had it marked at $95. I don't know how realistic that is. But man, oh man, it is absolute amazingness. That's what they wrote on the bottom. But it is, <laughs> it's a trinket box. It is a large trinket box, as you can see there. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. Look at, look at the bunnies in the box. Yep, I've never, I've never seen one like this in my travels. I can't even tell you how excited I was that I've, I've fine tooth combed over it. It's, uh, you know, just as you say that, here comes, like, as Jocelyn says, the fun sponge. There is one boo-boo on the flower. It's one flower boo-boo, one flower boo-boo. But that's it. for, And it's on the back. So that's on the back flower. There you go. Yep. I'm looking again. Yep, that is, that is the only boo-boo. Just that one little flower, flower petally thing. So just verify Dedelia, Camellia, and Roman. Just making sure you're bidding, knowing that there's that one little boo boo there. So one little boo boo. We are at fifty dollars with Roman. Fifty dollars with Roman. I'm gonna count it down. Going once. What does it say on the sign? It says, Happy Easter. Happy Easter is on the sign. Going twice. I love this piece. I love it so much. And I didn't have to deal with TSA bringing it home. Thank goodness. And we're going to call it Soul. Ooh. Okay. There's the soul that looks like I see Roman Leverin's got $60 in first. Roman was in first with $60. I think I think Lorraine has a little lag going on. Okay. All right. Okay, Tiger. I know you're German, and I'm totally going to butcher how I pronounce this. I know I will. Maybe you can help me out a little bit. Um, this is a Metzler, Metzler Ortloff. And I'm pretty sure that I'm not saying that right. Metz, Metzler, Metzler and Ortloff. It's Germany. It's pre-1970s, I'm told. It's a little chicky. It's a little chicky doodle. I, I left the original information on, on his buttocks for whoever gets it to have the information. There we go. That's what we got on there. That's what we got. So if you guys want to go again, do a little research on this brand, this maker, this Metzler Ortloff. Some of this stuff sells for hundreds of dollars. Um, which is why I picked this little guy up at a little antique store. There's his mark. An M and O. There we go. 
And again, this is one of those things that I would put in my own eBay store for at least a hundred dollars. I haven't found this particular one yet, but just looking at the maker, the stuff sells like it's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, okay. Ortloff. Yeah, but it would sound so much better with a German accent though, wouldn't it? I've got some German in me. I got a little bit. I think my Polish overrides the German though when it comes to like pronouncing things. <laughs> the the Polak in me wins out. It's all, it's all good. I don't mind. Here's the little. He's so cute. He's so cute. He's a very very fine porcelain as you would expect. Could it be pre-war? Mm, I don't know. It just says pre-1970s. Is... I have the most amazing Marks book, but I haven't found it since the move. I wish I could, I because then I could tell you exactly when this Mark was from. You're Polish by injection. <laughs> See, that's why I can pronounce your last name though, Kara, Krzynowski. I can I know that. I see, I know that. <laughs> I can do Polish. <laughs> Where are we at? Oh my goodness. Yay, try state picker mom. Hello, hello. All right. That would have been East or West Germany in the 1970s. Yeah. So I don't know. It doesn't say Germany on the bottom. Now remember that. It the mark itself does not state Germany. Um, if this is just the information from the antique dealer as to what the mark is from. So I see $38 with Patty Shaw, 38 with Patty Shaw, 39 with Judy Scalet, $39 with Julie Scalet. We're going to start counting. I'm going to start counting. I'm going to sneak a drink. We're going to say, going once. Yep. I probably will look up the mark before I mail it out. Just for my own info. Going twice. I see the bids coming in. Get your last minute bids in because we are going to call the cute little chick. So. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay. Porcelain Marks and More has the marks. Yeah, I use Worth Point for marks. Worth Point has a really good marks catalog. But I'm telling you, I have the most amazing book. The book is my go to. It's better than any website I have ever, 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 ever found. I'm just saying. I, when I find the book, I'm going to share it with you because it's amazing. I know I've shared in the past, but I don't know what video that's in. Oh, looks like Deb Sherman snuck in a $50 bid for the win. And now it's free shipping. There you go. All right. Okay. <laughs> I know. I, I had a quest of finding a fairy lamp while I was on my journey. And I succeeded in not finding one. I found two fairy lamps. Now, only one of them is in today's sale because the other one is not spring themed. But this one, and I didn't get the, I'm sitting here trying to peel the price tag off and I'm just going to give up. This is Fenton. It is a Fenton fairy lamp and it is signed. There you go. Hand painted by Susan Lee. And the bottom, I'm looking to see what the Fenton mark is on the bottom. This, I believe, is a 1970s Fenton piece. It does not, it does not have a number over. Oh, come on, focus. Focus, 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 camera. It wants to. It's having trouble. Come on, you see it. I know you see it. There we go. No number over the Fenton logo, which I believe puts it to the other thing that dates it to that is the fact that the artist signed their full name because they moved to doing just the first initial and last name. Um, so the earlier pieces do have the full artist's name. So it is an older piece of Fenton and it is a 
fairy lamp. So there is the back. Little flowers on it. And we are at where are we at? <laughs> you can never have too many fairy lamps and sit about. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, we've got $70 with Roiline is my high bid right now. I'm at $70 with Roiline, $75 with Lorraine, $80 with Roiline, going once, going twice. Try State Paper Mom's going to take over. Saying who are the souls? Thank you, thank you. And oh, since I just said the word, we're gonna call it sold. That's the official one. <laughs> I was so excited to find these fairy lamps on my trip. I mean, I literally set out, it was my focus. You'll hear me say that in the video, the videos a, a few times. Man, I was I was hunting fairy lamps, like hunting webbits, hunting fairy lamps. Okay, never mind. That didn't that didn't come out like I thought it would. So looks like the winner is Roy Lean at $90. $90. Thank you, thank you. All righty. Now I don't pick up teddy bears very often. I mean, most teddy bears generally are a hard sell, but there was something about this guy. There was something about him sitting there calling to me he is jointed in all four limbs he is fully jointed his head is not jointed now he's got that i don't my phone needs to stop ringing um i said he he felt like mohair i'm not going to guarantee that because i don't know that that what it's but it is that it is that same material <sighs> Like many of the stifes I like that feel. I mean, he just, that's how he feels to me. Um, he's a very high quality teddy bear. He has these plastic eyes. I thought they were glass when I first saw them, but they are plastic eyes and his little plastic nose. Um, his stitching is just really nicely done. I mean, I could just tell he is a good, good quality teddy bear. Don't know who makes him. He's got no tag. Um, so that's, I mean, if you know your teddy bears, you might be able to know, but teddy bears are not really my niche and it's not something that I would want to spend a lot of time on. So that's why I'm offering him here. Um, but I do, yeah, he is, he's soft, but kind of coarse, if that makes sense. He's not like super soft. He's not silky soft. He's soft, but in a maybe kind of a a rougher kind of a way i don't know if i'm even saying that right it's a very fine like short short pile so he's not like fluffy i hope that makes sense and the leg they like, squeak they squeak a little bit it's kind of cute <laughs> makes him sound like he's talking i thought you were asking if the teddy bear glowed with black light <laughs> Where are we at? I see $30 with Tina Reed. I got $30 with Tina Reed. Patty, she came in right before you, but then Patty's back in at 32. All right. Yeah, he is definitely, definitely vintage. Like there is no doubt about that. I will guarantee he's a vintage teddy bear. 100%. All right. I'm going once. We're going twice. And we're going to call him So My joints squeak also. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> mine too. You shut up there. I have had these for a very, very long time. There's my sold. And looks like the winner is Patty Shaw is who I see. 
All right. I have had these for a very long time. And I thought, oh my goodness, these are very, very perfect for today's sale. They are place card holders. They are chicky doodles, little fuzzy chicky doodles. But what makes them super special is they are department 56 little chicky doodle place card holders. There you go. Department 56 in their original packaging. The packaging is a little, you know, it's it's been taped by the store that I purchased it. I have not opened it. I love sitabouts. I like it. We're going to, yeah, we'll get some merch done with I love sitabouts and get ship done. <laughs> you have a special needs grandson who loves teddy bears. Oh, that's so awesome. I love when stuff gets into the right home. All right, we are at $15 with Warren Hart. Sneaky Fox is at 16. 16 with Sneaky Fox, 17. I got Lois first at 17. Lois came in first with a 17. 17 is with Lois. Going once. Going twice. And we're gonna call it sold. We are moving right along. I like this. I like it. I like it. I like it. And I'm waiting for it to come in. There it is. Looks like Warren is the winner for $20 on the Chicky Doodles. Okay. These next two items are, are, are honestly, you guys, before these live sales, I probably would have never picked these up. Um, but I think you guys are going to love these. So first, I found this booth that had repurposed old quilts. And most of the stuff was super expensive. I wanted to get some bunnies and stuff, but they were they were a little on the pricey side. But I found an egg that was doable. <laughs> so I have this. This is from an old cutter quilt. Somebody took apart an old quilt and made the little Easter egg, which I think is fantastic. And so I'm not just offering this. I'm also offering. And how many of you grew up with these? It is a little basket made from cards and stitched together. Here you go. The blue, the blue ribbon can stay or not. I think that was just put on, you know, by the dealer to put it all together. But this actually opens up and it would hold goodies. It's got tissue paper in there. But I was gonna, I, I, I was like, do I save this for my purple sale or do I offer it in the spring sale? I think it's just too Eastery not to uh, offer today. So here it is. So you're getting the card box and the quilt egg both together. One, one lot, two pieces, all one money. And we are at $15 with Lois Talent. We're at 15 with Lois. 20 with Polly's projects. I know I wish I wouldn't have the patience. I just wouldn't have the patience, but I love it too. Cause I just, I remember these, these were, I mean, everybody had these back in the day, right? Like was it seventies, seventies? Yeah, thereabouts. Oh, I didn't even look at the, the little bottom has a little card that's got a house scene on it. That's really cute. All right, we are at $20. Oh, you gotta go pick up Hubby from the airport. Thank you, Kara, thank you, thank you. All right, thank you for letting us know. Thank you for being here. I got Polly's projects at $20, going once. Going twice. I see your $22, Diana. And we are going to call this item sold. I 
And there we go with a power bid at the end. Is it enough to win? We're going to see. There's the sold. And it looks like Roy Lean got in there for $35 for the win. That's how you do it. Okay. I have been waiting to offer this to you guys. This is like one of my favorite finds ever, ever, ever. Like, how stinking cute is that? This is an Inesco T for two, a little musical. 19, 1993, 1993. I know you guys have been waiting for this one. I can't believe how perfect it is. Oh, it does have an off switch, by the way. What a plus with a music box. Yeah. Um, so $27 is with Uncle Andy. $30 with Lorraine Laurie. They're slowing down. $55 power bid. $60 with Deborah Heimbecker. Yes, you guys do love this. I'm at $60. They are they are little mice. They are little mice. Little mousies in teacups. It's very Disney-esque. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, we're at $60 with Deborah Heimbecker going once. Going twice. I see your $65 bid, Warren Hart. Time to get those bids in because I am calling this sold. We are at $5 increments over $50 there. So, okay. There's our sold. Looks like that went to Kristen Daves. Kristen Daves for 75. And that is with free shipping. Okay. So this is an interesting piece. I actually sold this piece out of my eBay store. And... Uh, I had one of those buyers. Let me just say that um, because they sent it back to me with little arrows to show me things that I had not pointed out in the listing. Now they use Sharpie, which I think a little magic eraser that'll come off, right? Technically I could have docked them for that, for modifying the item, but I didn't. Um, there's a manufacturers. This is an omnibus which Omnibus turned into Fitz and Floyd. It's 1987, you can see it there. So this is pre-Fitz and Floyd, but it's Fitz and Floyd for all intents and purposes. Um, but this was mass marketed product back in the 1980s. So yes, it's not perfect. This is not a chip. It is a manufacturer defect. It's a little bit of roughness. The other spot was, um, the ear also has a little manufacturer defect there that you can get my face out of there so you could see it. So, yeah, so that's why it was returned. And this way I can point it out. I can show it to you guys and you can bid accordingly. Um, and you guys still appreciate him. I don't know what is supposed to sit in this little spot right here. A little shaker or a little candle. I'm not sure what he's supposed to hold, but I see a bid of 30 with Lorraine, Lorraine Lowry. Does alcohol take permanent marker off? That's a good question. I do not know. Why would you Sharpie an item you're returning? Yeah, that's a good question, Rachel. Uh, Cause they were one of those buyers. Just going to say it. <laughs> I did dock them their original shipping. I didn't refund their original shipping. Because, yeah. And you guys, if you know me, you know I'm all about customer service. But it just, yeah, the way that was done was just not done right. 
Okay. Let's see where we're at. $30 with Lorraine. I'm at $30 with Lorraine. Going once. Going twice. And sold. Lemon essential oil. We remove that. See, I just break out the little magic eraser and go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Magic eraser is my friend. That is a genius product. Don't quite understand how it works, but I love that it does. Okay, are my bunnykins people here? As you know, I kind of uh, got the mother load of bunnykins things. This, <laughs> I still have all my price tags on them too. You will just have to ignore. Actually, I'm going to try to take it off so I can show you the mark because the marks are important. Okay, it's off. This one is dated, wait. Okay, let me show you where, if you want to start bidding, but then I'm gonna, I've got one plate, the happy Easter plate. I've got two plates. I got the happy birthday plate. And I've got, okay, I, I know it's not spring, but I didn't want one little lonesome bunnykins plate. So there is a Merry Christmas plate in this lot. And you're going to get one mug in this lot, which is the little nursery. So, but stand by. Because my friend Bree was so good to me. <laughs> she brought me a big old magnifying glass. This is amazing. Oh, look at that. It's 1988. It's 1988 which you can see right there, Royal Dalton. All right, so we've got a mug and three plates in this lot. You're getting it all, getting it all. I just have one price tag on the back of this one, which, which I can pull off. Oh, you know, and uh, so I got these at the Salvation Army and they actually date their price tags. So they must have just put these out before I got there. That's interesting. Doot. All right. High bid is $40 with Yvonne Gann. That is a new name to me. Yvonne, have you sent us your email? Just to make sure that we have a way to get a hold of you. The year your son was born. All right. We are at $40. I don't know who has that, but I'm going to say going once. Going twice, and Rachel will just verify that we have received that email and let me know. Let me know, Rachel, because we are going to call them sold. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. I have two more pieces of the omnibus. Um, oh, they were made in Japan. Okay. So again, these kind of match the same theme. This is the the bunny tray. Cute with his carrots. Here's the mark on the back. You can see you there. And you're also in this lot going to get the little creamer that matches. He is also same, same maker, same pattern. Trying to see, make sure there's no defects on him that I have missed. I don't see anything. Nope. He's good. He's good. I never use the word perfect. Never, ever. You will never hear me say perfect. All right. I have 25. I have 26. I have 30. I see $30 with Rosie's Random Treasures. Rosie's Random Treasures is at 30. That is $30 for both pieces. 35 with Lorraine. I'm at 35 with Lorraine. 35 with Lorraine. We're going once. Get those bids in because I'm counting it down. Going twice. 
I do not have a sugar with lid. I do not. In fact, these are, no, I have one more piece after this, but it's not a sugar. And I'm going to call this soul. All right, there's my sold, and it looks like these are going to Lorraine. Lorraine Lowry got them for $50. Okay, here's another one that I totally forgot to take my price tags off of. Wait, wait, they peel off very easy. Okay, I'll just show you the back of one of them then, and then I'll take them off later. All right, you are going to get one, two, three, four, five. Five of these beautiful coasters. Now, as if all on their own, as just butterfly coasters, they aren't amazing enough. I'm going to show you what is truly amazing about these. There we go. There's another one. And there is a, another one. Now, what makes them super special? They are Kaiser. They are Kaiser West Germany is what that mark on there says. Come on, focus, focus, focus. There we go. Schwalbenschwanz. <laughs> Schwalbenschwanz. Papilio much or something. Doris Hoffman? I, something like that. There you go. There is me butchering German. There's your mark. So these are super, super beautiful. Schwalbenschwanz. Schwalbenschwanz. <sighs> Schwalbenschwanz. You are getting five. Unfortunately, there's not six. There's just five, but they're pretty amazing. I got to say, I can't even imagine putting a drink on these. They're just so beautiful. Right? There's a word. Yes. What does it mean? Tiger, what does that word mean? It me does it mean sparrow? Oh, does each one? Each one has its own. Okay. Oh. Yeah, no. No, no. no okay. Okay, what's that word? Tag. <laughs> so each one is like the... It's the butterfly. Like here's the von von flugel von flugel blau blauling. You're laughing are at I know I hear you laughing at me tiger. I can hear it through the computer and miles and miles away. Okay? I'm just saying. Here we go. Kleiner. I'm not even going to try to say that. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I will get in YouTube trouble if I try to say that. <laughs> yes. Okay. Right? All right. <laughs> uh, this one is Trower Mantle Nymphalis Antiopa. You guys are laughing at me. You're laughing at me. <laughs> oh, let me see. Let me see what you've said about Sparrow Tail. Yeah. You didn't give me all the other ones, so. Okay. <laughs> all right. It's our moment, our moment of naughtiness. All right. Uh, so where are we at? <laughs> I know. I know it sounds like it looks. That's why I don't dare, like, even say. No, <laughs> I get in big trouble. Uh, $60 with Rosie's. I don't say that word anyway. <laughs> Lois. They're butterfly names, not bird names. They're butterfly names. Where are we at? We're at $60. Let's just count this down. Going once. Going twice. And sold. <laughs> that was a little, that was fun. <laughs> All right. More 
morning coat. Oh. Well, <laughs> go, Lois, go. Go, go, Lois, go. <laughs> Tell me what you for. All right. As we move along. Oh, we were making good time. I might get to some extra stuff. Or we could just end early. Um, I don't know. We'll be we'll probably be right on time. Okay. Have you ever, have you ever seen an antique milk glass cabbage dish? Have you ever? And this is this is not your 1950s like Fenton milk glass or this is the stuff that you can see through. Look at it's the translucent true antique milk glass. How awesome is that? I saw this piece and just about dropped. Cuz it's one of those things I have never I have never found in the wild before. There you go. It is not marked. Not marked. But I always show the bottom. But look at all the little veins of the cabbage. Like, what was it about cabbage? Like, cabbage was kind of a big deal to, like, make stuff and do stuff. I don't know what it was. But, yeah, I just, I was so tickled when I found this piece. It does, you know, it's got this old glass does have a little bit of rough edges. But it's from the... It's from the mold. It's not damage, but I just, you know, I want to note it. So you're not surprised when you go, oh, that's kind of a rough edge. Well, it's, it's just where it wasn't polished down from when it came out of the mold. I would imagine that would be really hard to do, but yeah, it is amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. And we are at $60 with Rosie's Random Treasures. $60, Rosie's Random Treasures. Dimensions. I can do that. You know why I can do that? Because I have this. <laughs> Thank you, Brie. All right. It is seven inches. I'm measuring like across the widest part because it's not like a, a complete circle. So it's seven inches from pedal to pedal across this way. And it stands three and a half inches tall a little over three and a half inches tall with the lid on there you go cabbage represents money and luck well there you go i like this kind of milk glass i like i like the true antique milk glass that you can see through i do like i don't i'm not a big fan of the like the 1950s 60s milk glass um, $70. Rosie's Random Treasures. We're at $70. Rosie's Random Treasures. Let's count it down. Going once. It's one of those pieces, like, you see it and you go, oh, yeah, I got to get that. Going twice because it's so unique. And it is now sold. Carefully put it back on the shelf. And the winner is, looks like Rosie's Random Treasures for $70. Very nice buy. That's just one of those things that nobody around you is going to have one like it. Okay, fairies, gnomes, elves, cabbage, roses, big during the Victorian times. So that makes sense. Okay, yeah. My yard sale tomorrow. My super secret yard sale tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I probably should get my butt out there by 8 a.m. Like, I'm just saying. I'm not sure we will. Will we, Brie? Will we make it out? Will we, will we get this yard sale gone by 8 a.m.? Yes. She says yes. And she's the boss. So. Right. You should see her. You should see her out there cracking the whip on me. It's it's no joke. I mean, she's just, Danny, don't slow down. No. Shh. Keep going. Keep No. 
which is fully welcomed because I need that. <laughs> um, we don't have Rosie's. We don't have Rosie's email. Oh, Rosie, we need your email. We need your email right away. Please, please, please. Is that, Rachel, we need the YouTube name. We need the YouTube name. <laughs> yeah, and they're not going to beat my door down at 6 a.m. Uh-uh, because you can't get to my door. <laughs> I am super protected. Nobody gets to my door. <laughs> You'd be there honking the horn at 6 a.m. Don't do it! <laughs> okay, next. I'm just, just making sure we got Rosie's email, like make sure we got that worked out because that, that was a big purchase. That's what I didn't talk about at the beginning is like the niche foundation, like a portion of your proceeds, you guys go to, to the niche foundation, I'm trying to think of the word support to support the niche foundation, which is a nonprofit I formed to help disadvantaged women build their own online businesses. So. It's very, very rough when we get someone that doesn't send the email and we can't invoice and then we have a big mess because especially this is a themed sale. So the themed things are not going to be the same, you know, two weeks from now. Thank you. Thank you. She, she sent her email, but that, that's just in general. I wasn't just pointing you out, Rosie. It's like everybody, that's why we do it because we got to keep things flowing, keep the money going to the niche foundation and, all is right with the bull. Okay, how about some birds? A bird, bird, a bird, a bird, and future birds. Well, they're probably not future birds because they're not going to hatch. But there we go. They are salt and peppers. How cute is that? Bird and the nest. Salt and peppers. There's the bottom. They got their little plastic stoppers. Oh, okay. Rosie's is a regular at what the hell's auctions. Thank you for that, Melissa. I can't keep track of everybody. <laughs> I still have to have a way to get a hold of everybody. So that's why it's super important that we verify that your email came through. Because a lot of times we've had it where somebody says they sent it, but if you get one letter wrong or something and it doesn't come through, then we have no way to reach you. So I have Thrifting Vegas at $10. I have Helen Booty at $15. Rachel likes the birdie. Of course you do, Rachel. I'm pretty sure that you like everything in this sale. I have $16 with Lana Morsefield, $17 with Alice, $17 with Alice. Just giving you an opportunity to use a little custom emoji as you like to do. All right. $25. Rosie throws down the gauntlet. $25 on. Oh, but Lana's back in at 26. Lana is back in at 26. We're going to start this countdown. We're going to start it going once. Going twice. Get your bids in. I see them still coming in. I will give you a few more seconds to get those bids in before I call it sold. And there's the sold, and it looks like I see $29 with Deborah Heimbecker. That's what I see. All right, now it is your choice to picker mom sees too. Okay, we've got some more antique milk glass. Now, as happens in this old stuff I mean, I'm looking at it now and it's not as faded as well I'm not sure what's going on here actually uh, you're gonna have to tell me what's going on here okay so we have a creamer and sugar now the sugar is missing a lid that would have originally come with a lid but who is going to use it as a creamer sugar anyway it's just super cute you could put a plant in it whatever but it is antique milk glass now here what I'm looking at is it looks like 
someone after the fact added a little purple highlighting on there. I don't know if that's original to the piece, but I'm seeing the the drip thing here. But that's, that's how it was. I don't know. I don't know. You have to tell me. You have to tell me on that one. But there is the the creamer. There's the bottom. Again, it's that translucent. You can see it in the edge. See how it kind of shines through there. And then here is the sugar. It's got the same coloring, but it's much more pale, which makes me think that someone tried to touch it up, that it was original, and then someone touched it up and didn't do such a great job. There you go. Look at the rose. That's all hand painted on there. There you go. Yeah, that's what it is. Somebody, somebody was touching it up. They were touching it up. It might. Yeah, I'm thinking like a nail polish remover because it almost looks like they use nail polish on it. It's. I didn't even notice it to look at really close just now because it does look like it belongs. But I think this is originally how it looked. And then this is somebody trying to fix it. And we are at $35 with Rosie's Random Treasures. $35 is where we are at. Should we start counting this one down? Let me see if the bids slow down. I'm going to start counting it. And I'm seeing $38 is our high bid right now. $38 is the high bid. Going once. going twice. I don't know if my, there's my chat moving again. And sold. Um, I've got, I've got you at $38, Rosie. I got you at $38 and it looks like you are the winner. All right, time for me to lean on my little stool here because my back's starting to scream a little bit. See what I can do. Yay. I don't look like I'm so far away. Uh, okay, so please, please, please be sure of your bids before you type them in because that just causes all kinds of problems. We will go ahead and let, let's see, Lana, Lana for $36. Okay, but just, yeah, just, just, that just causes all kinds of problems. But we'll give that one to Lana for $36. Okay. We got it. How about some Peter Rabbit? What Easter spring sale would be complete without a Peter Rabbit plate? This is by Wedgwood. There's Made in England. And it says, Peter was not very well during the evening. His mother put him to bed and made some chamomile tea one tablespoonful to be taken at bedtime. He did not need, uh, oh no, never mind. We're not going to talk about that. I was going to say a cousin Rona test. <laughs> he doesn't have Rona. He doesn't have Rona. He's, he's just a little sick. He's all good. Peter Rabbit's going to be okay. All right. We are at, is that $14 with Sneaky Fox. Okay. The struggle is real. You can go away. <laughs> Troll alert. <laughs> All right. Sneaky Fox, are you at $14 on the Peter Rabbit? The struggle is real when you come in and cause problems in a sale. So. Yes, mods make 
make that go away. <laughs> okay. Ah, so it still shows up on mine. Okay, good deal. We are at $15 with Yvonne Gann. $15. You guys know I buy everything at thrift stores and antique stores and flea markets. Like it's it's no it's no secret where I buy things and you know that I get things so that I can make money. So yeah, there we go. It's all the candy she ate. Or he ate. It's Peter. It's Peter Rabbit. We are at $16 with Sherry Ramsey. $16. Going once. Going twice. And so. So that's good to know. It's good to know that in, so I use StreamYard to control the whole broadcast and StreamYard doesn't show me when something is deleted. Okay, we're going to try something, guys. We are going to try something. I have to stand up again for this. So let me not cut off my head. There we go. I have. I have four cup and plate sets of the Bunnykins. Four different ones. I'm going to do choice. Now, what that means is you are going to bid with your right to choose which one or ones that you want as first pick. OK, so um, you can buy one or four and I'm going to show you your choices. So just be ready if you are the winner to let us know which one you want or two that you want if you win or if you want them all, say all. OK, but your bid is for one set and then it would be times however many of these sets you want. Now, they're all a little bit different. This one. They don't have names on them. I thought maybe they had names on them, but they don't. Okay. So this is the playground, playground bunnykins. Am I holding it upside down? I am. So these are the bunnies on the playground is one set. Okay. Let me get the others. Then we have, we have painting. We have painting bunnykins. So there's painting, painter, bunnykin. Now, these are kind of playing dress up. So it's not an exact go with, but they were a close match. So I did put those ones together. And... And then this one is, let's see. Yep, these are match. These match. These one have a little bit of scratching on them, but this is the the wedding, wedding bunnykins, I think. No, wait. No, it's just why are they crowning her? I'm not sure what why well, I'm not sure what's going on here. But it's that. And it, but this one is absolutely a match. Same thing on the cup. I'm not sure what that what are they doing? What are they doing? Please show you the bottom. Okay, hold on. I gotta take my price tags off. So these are what the bottoms look like. They're 1988 Royal Dalton. Okay, and last choice is. These are the little cooking, cooking in the kitchen bunnykins with the eating. They're eating on the cup. So, all right. So, you would love, to, I know, what are they doing? Where is our bid at? Our bid is at $30. Okay, I see Rosie's. Random treasures at 30. You're bidding on one set choice. 
the prices for a cup and a plate. A cup and a plate is your choice. They are crowning her May Queen. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Rosie's Random Treasures is at 35. We're going to count it down. Going one. Going twice and sold. Okay, so Rosie's. Well, let me wait and see. He's dragging it like is he stuck? Is he okay? See, Rachel can hear me in real time. Okay, it's this is for one set, and I have Rosie's Random Treasure. So, Rosie, do you want, which ones do you want? It's not 60 for all. It's not 60 for all. It's $35 for one set. Oh, he's just being a weirdo? Okay. I thought you meant he got stuck and was dragging it. Okay. Let's try and move this along. Rosie, which one or ones do you want? It's, it wasn't for all. The last one, so you want the cooking one? You want the one where they're cooking? Okay, I think she says she wants, just verify you want the cooking one. And Rachel, if you could put that on the line on the spreadsheet, put the cooking one for me, please, please, please. All right. You can have, but it's $35 a set. So it's $35 a set. You can absolutely have them all. You were the high bidder, but it's $35 a set. Let me know if that's what you want to do. Just want to verify it's $35 a set and you can absolutely have them all. Okay, see, there's a little confusion. I know I was trying this. I thought this might go faster. You want them all. Okay, gotcha. Da -da 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 -da. They are sold for $35, and that is with free shipping. So thank you for verifying that. All right. There we go. It's something that they used to do at the auction house that I worked at, so I thought I'd try it a little bit. Oh, okay. So in this lot, now I meant to take his little gold egg out of here. You don't need that. So you're going to get this cute little ducky, little ducky planter who is not marked. And then I am throwing in also this little hand painted porcelain egg. It's a porcelain, it's a bisque porcelain. Uh, and it says love to Kelly T three of 99 so this is 1999 and look at the little ladybug on there too look how cute that is so you're going to get the ducky you see it's got the hole in the bottom there you're going to get the ducky and and the little egg and i just stuck the little egg in the back of the little ducky like that it's really not meant for that but i thought hey i can ship it that way all right and we are what? What we got some drama going on over there? What's going on? What we got going on? No drama. We don't need no drama. I don't know. It's all good. We're moving on. We're moving on. Cha-ching! Guys hear that? All right. $25 with Thrifting Vegas. I'm at $25 with Thrifting Vegas. Yep, it, it's okay, guys. Stuff happens. 25, Thrifting Vegas. 
Let's call it going once. Let's call it going twice. And so. Oh, I got some more cuteness coming. I got some more cuteness coming. Wait till you see the cuteness coming. Da, 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 da. There's my soul. All right. There we go. Thrifting Vegas for $25. And oops. Stand by. Removing price tag. There we go. Okay. Look. Look at these little guys. Oh my gosh. Are they not the cutest? They remind me of the, was it Pimper, Pimpernel? Pimper, some, no, not Pimpernel. What is the brand of bunnies that I'm trying to think of? Ah, I can't think of it now. Starts with a P. It's not Pimpernel though. It's, 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 it's P something. I don't know. I have the duck of all ducks coming. Lana, you, you just sit tight. Actually, He's next. Wait till you see the duck that's coming next. Okay. Pen Delphin. Thank you. I knew, <laughs> I knew somebody would know it. Pen, it's Pen Delphin. Is it Pen Delphin or Pen Pendelfin? Whatever it is. Anyway, that's what these remind me of. But no, these are Lefton. These are marked Lefton. Lefton. Vintage Lefton. Vintage Lefton is very highly collectible now i'm very very amazed look at it wants to focus on the little wants to focus on that instead of showing you the mark there we go there you see all right so let's see he's what is he doing is he sweeping is he playing is he playing like paintbrush guitar or is he sweeping and and this one's just like Going, yeah, that's totally cool, dude. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm at $12 with Sneaky Fox. $12 with Sneaky Fox. But tell me, is it is it like is it like paintbrush guitar? These are bunnies. Yeah, they're bunnies. Do you ever see their ears? Do you know little bunny ears? The little loppy, little loppy baby bunny ears. They are totally bunnies. We are at $15 with Yvonne. $15 with Yvonne. I see your comment, Danny. I don't see, I'm just kind of going with like the high bid that I see. I see, I see that comment, but I don't see other comments. Paintbrush guitar. Yeah, see, that's what I'm thinking. Is he serenading the young lady? I don't know. Is it is it a girly? Is it a girly? And she's just kind of having none of it? I don't know. All right, I'm at $18. Going once. I see your $20, Patricia. But we're going twice. And we're going to call them sold. Oh. She doesn't look impressed. No, she she totally doesn't look impressed. I, I I don't think I'd be impressed either. All right, raise your sights, guys. This is probably the best piece that I am offering in this sale. Look at this guy. Check him out. He is fantastic. He is. Get it to focus in there. He is Rosenthal, Germany. Rosenthal, Germany. There we go. And he is a duckling. This duckling has a retail value of about $150. About $150. He's a ducky. Yep, he's a ducky. He's a duckling. 
But look at his little wings. Oh my gosh, look at his little ducky wings. And he's just so realistic. Like, look at the little tongue. He is fine, fine porcelain. And he is selling to you guys. Where am I at? I'm at Susan Barron for 30. 35 with Lois. See, Danny, I see you're 35, but you came in after Lois. I see 40 with Roman. $40 with Roman. $40 is already with Roman. $50 with Patty Shaw. He is the cutest duck ever. He truly is the cutest duck ever. This is a collectible that you could keep forever and hand down. He will never go down in value. I can't say, I can't guarantee that, but it is one of those fine, fine pieces from a very high end company that we usually hold its value over time and increase in value, not like things that are mass marketed that go down in value. Rosenthal pieces like this generally do not go down in value. I got 55 with Brie. 55 with Brie. I will give you time to refresh, Danny, and then make sure that you are in live chat. Super important, you guys, to make sure you're in live chat. I have Patty Shaw at 60. Patty is at 60. I'm going to give her time to refresh. Make sure you're in live chat. We are at 60 already, though, Rosie. We are at 60. Yeah, Bree saw this guy in person. He really is amazing. And he stands. Let me measure. Uh, da -da 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 -da. He stands eight inches tall. He's eight inches tall. So he's really good sized. I have $70 with Patty Shaw. And it's 70 with Patty Shaw. We're going to count him down. We're going to count him down. Going once. Going twice. Oh, did I mention he's free shipping now, guys? For those of you who may not have been, you know, calculating that, he is free shipping. We're looking for 75. Did I say going twice? If not, I'm saying it now. And we're going to call him. So. And carefully, very carefully place him back on the shelf. Oh, where am I? There we are. That was my daughter shopping with me at the, at the flea market swap meet. They call it a swap meet out there. Yep. That was Jordan. Yeah. Tomorrow's video. Um, I'll give you guys a little, a little sneak peek at what's coming tomorrow. Um, well, not a sneak peek, a sneak, uh, spoiler, spoiler alert. Um, so a lot of, you know, that, Oh, we got, did Patty outbid herself? Wait, with some, okay, yeah, so Patty's at, at 80. Thank you, Patty. You will love him. Um, so a little, little spoiler alert. Tomorrow's video is the completion of the flea market swap meet shopping. But also, you will see Jordan found the most spectacular piece for one of her modeling shoots. It literally was like it was there waiting for her, this Somebody had obviously used it as a costume or or in a modeling kind of scenario. It's this gigantic hoop skirt. It's like, I can't even give you a spoiler alert, really, because I can't even describe this thing. It was phenomenal. But the point of my telling you that is Jordan got accepted to go to this, oh gosh, what's the name? Coco, Coco Rochelle, like some fancy schmancy high-end fashion model out there does these boot camps for aspiring models and it's extremely hard to get into this boot camp you have to send your portfolio and your social media stuff that you're doing and all of this well 
Uh, Jordan got accepted. Only 5% of the applicants get accepted to go to this modeling boot camp. So I'm super proud of her. She's actually in the modeling world. Jordan is old. I mean, she's, she's going to be 29 this month. So, and that's really, you know, that's about 10 years older than they like models to be when they're starting out, but she's got Coco Chanel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Coco Chanel. Um, but uh, Jordan got accepted. Now she has to come up with the money to go to this modeling school. So she has started um, a GoFundMe to do that. I will have a link to that in tomorrow's video description. I've also got it on my Facebook for those of you who follow me on Facebook. I'll try to put it on. I'm still learning how to do Instagrammy stuff. But um, anyway, I mean, every little bit helps her get towards that goal. So I mean, if five bucks, you guys, if you can just spare five bucks um, to help her, like you can say you were a part of her because she's like her mama. And when she wants to go for something, she's going to make it happen. I know like the whole point of going to this modeling boot camp is not to learn how to be a model, although she will get some skills and some the whole point, it's an audition to get into Coco Chanel's modeling agency. I mean, that's really what Coco Chanel is using this for, is to sign models that have the potential for her business, which would be really great for Jordan. So I really want to see her get to this boot camp and make this happen and sky's the limit for her. Um, so I, yes, I'm a very proud mama about all of this, but you'll see us talk about that in tomorrow's video and you'll see this like amazing hoop skirt thing that she found and these shoes and stuff. But yeah, there will be a link tomorrow in the description for her GoFundMe. And if anybody could just, you know, every little bit adds up and gosh, if every one of my subscribers gave 50 cents, it'd be a done deal. <laughs> Now we know not everybody's going to contribute. So, I mean, more than 50 cents would be appreciated, but, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. Next, we have the Omnibus Bunny Celery Dish. Now this goes with those other pieces that I had earlier. This is the last piece that I have. This is the celery dish. Let me just make sure there's no manufacturing defects, chips, cracks, or otherwise any damage that needs to be noted. No, he's he's pretty spot on. Uh, he's a 1987. There's his mark. And we are at, it's in the United States. It's in the United States. I hope it's in the United States. Maybe it's not. I guess I should look into that. But that's, I thought it was in Texas. I, why do I, why do I think the boot camp isn't? Maybe it's not. Maybe she needs to go somewhere for it. But I don't know. I'll have to find that out. All right, we are at sixteen dollars with Sneaky Fox. Is it in Paris? Is the boot camp and so she has to get to Paris too? Oh, interesting. She didn't tell me that part. Oh, she goes to Paris. Here's the deal, you guys. She goes to Paris. She's going to have the responsibility of bringing home mama some stuff to put in the live sales. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. We're at $29 with Gina Berry. Hi, Gina. I do not recognize your name. Just want to make sure that you have sent your email over. She said in the desert... In the desert, that's a that's a photo shoot she's doing this week. That was something different. Yeah, she's doing a photo shoot this week in the desert. I'm thinking it maybe I'll I'll look. I'll look. She needs her mom to go with her. Mm, not if it's overseas. I'm not no, I don't do airplanes over water. I just don't I just I know that's stupid, so stupid. <laughs> That I will get in an airplane over land, but not over water. But it's the way my brain works. Like at least if you're over land, you can go make an emergency landing somewhere. When you're over water, not so much. <laughs> All right, thirty-two dollars is where we're at with Sneaky Fox. All right, thank you. 
I'm not saying you didn't send the email. Um, I'm not checking. I'm just making it known. Actually, Rachel's checking because we just want to make sure that we have your information so that you don't miss out on something that you want to buy. You could go as her chaperone. <laughs> I will let her know that there are volunteers to go as her chaperone. I will let her know that. All right. $35 with Lorraine Laurie is where I'm at. We're going once. We're going twice. Oh, I'm sure she'll get products. And soul. I know there's islands and such. It's just the way my crazy brain works. I know she's a French fashion designer. Her, her fashion started at as Edwardian era. She was a milliner first. And I, see, I don't know anything about her. Everything I know about the fashion world, I know from Jordan. But I tell you, having a millennial daughter that likes to shop with me is a real, real edge in when I go out and find stuff. And like there was stuff that she picked up at, at the swap meet. I'm like, you like that? She goes, oh, yeah, I totally love this. I'm like, interesting. <laughs> so watch for those millennials. Okay, how about a cute, a very, very cute little bunny picture? Look at this guy. Oh, my goodness. Look at the face. He's got the carrot. He's very cute. Um, that is a little uh, price tag schmooge on there that still needs to come off. And so he is by... Arlington Designs. He's not super old, but he was way too stinking cute not to include in the sale. And we are at, he's a chubby bunny, yes. We are at $8 with Sneaky Fox. $8. Is he grumpy? Yeah, I think he's uh, ambivalent. He's just ambivalent. We don't want to call him grumpy. <laughs> I see Roman at $25. Roman is at $25. We're going to count him down because I talk too much. And now we're not ahead of the game. Now we're just on time. Going once. Going twice. And Ambivalent Bunny is sold. There's another one. I did not remove my price tag. What is wrong with me? I'm usually much more on the ball with this stuff. And there's the sold. Hold on, I'm removing a price tag. I got this. I got this. It's what we get our nails done for, right? So they're nice and strong to remove tags. All right. I think I got enough that you can see the maker's mark on this one. Okay, Roman got that. Hey, Gino's finds. Glad to see you here. Thanks for popping in. Okay. How about this? How about this little cuteness? It's a little chick popping out of an egg, egg plate. It is by Burton and Burton. There you go, Burton and Burton. And we are starting it at one dollar. Nobody likes my little my little chicky egg plate. Oh, recovering from surgery. That does not sound fun. But I'm glad you are recovering. Sneaky Fox is at $12. Roman is at $15. Yvonne, you, uh, we already have $15. And it's funny because like the, there's such a 
a weird little laggy thing. So when the mods are typing in high bid, I'm already seeing higher bids, just FYI. I see Sunflower Valley at 16. Sunflower Valley. We need to make sure we have your email address. I'm seeing a five, but I'm pretty sure it is. This is ceramic. It is ceramic. I generally don't sell much plastic. I see $16 with Angel MD. No, I already had. Wait. Oh, you sent it. Okay. I'm just waiting for Rachel to verify for me to make sure we got it. Make sure we got it. Roylina's at 20. Roylina's at 20. Thank you for that, Rachel. I've got $20 with Roylene. $20 with Roylene. I'm going to start the countdown. Going once. Going twice. And sold. Let's get through the cuteness. Let's get through the cuteness. Everybody needs to be in live chat, live chat. Okay, you're going to laugh at this next one. But, you know, things that get discontinued are worth more than their original price. So I'm just going to leave that on there and let you guys decide on the cuteness factor. We have a, a bunny basket. We just have a really, really cute bunny basket. He is ceramic. Does he have a little? Oh, he does. He's got a little, just a little tiny chippy here. Purple handle. But he came from Kmart. Now, I don't know about you guys, but Kmart's gone and been gone for many years around here. So he's not like a high end bunny basket, but he is a super cute Easter decor. And I see, so yeah, he is cute. I see $20 with Lana. I would totally decorate with this guy. I would totally decorate with this guy. $22 with Sneaky Fox. $22 with Sneaky Fox. $25 with Deborah Heimbecker. $25 with Deborah Heimbecker. I miss, I miss the old... You know what I miss? I miss Gemco. Do you guys have a Gemco? That used to be a great store. I remember like we went to Gemco for everything. If my mom's still on, you know, she'd probably tell me like, we'd, I remember getting our shoes done and we had to, you know, we had to put our little foot in a little measury thing. And Gemco was like the go-to place or, or the treasury. <gasps> remember the treasury? Ooh, I remember buying those old metal trunks at the treasury. Isn't it funny the memories that come up when you start talking about stuff? Yeah, the treasury. I think we used to get groceries at the treasury too. They had like everything. It was like the Walmart before Walmart, only it was better than Walmart. Yeah, you remember standing in line to get Teddy Ruxpin. Yeah. All right, now I don't know where my bid's at. <laughs> Hang on, stand by. We're at $27 with Deborah Heimbecker. I'm going to count this down. Going once. Going twice. And sold. Jesus gracious. I was so ahead and now I'm getting behind because I'm just talking too much. So I'm going to stop talking so much and we're going to get this sale done. And there's my soul. All right. Roylene got that one for $30. Right? 30? Okay. Next, we have a very, oh, God, this is so cute. It's a water, it's a water globe. It's a bunny. See if I can get this to focus and show you all the bunnies. So there's a bunny here, and there's a bunny 
inside the water globe. I don't know what the story is there, but the look on that bunny's face is like, can't you come out? Can't you come out and play? And it's almost like that, like dough art kind of bunny thing going on here. And this is a cottontail collection. Bunny, it's a 2004. So it's not super old. And it comes with its original box, which also is cute all on its own with the bunnies on it. See, and it comes all nestled. I don't know. Take that back. I say original box. It's the box that it I got it in and it fits in there like perfectly, but it may not be the original box, but that's how you're getting it. So I guess you're getting a water globe and a buddy box all together. So there you go. A sit about. It's a sit about. I love that word. Okay. Sneaky Fox is at 16. Sneaky Fox is at 16 on the bunny water globe. It's really got water in it. $16. We're going to count it down. Going once. Going twice. And so. Ah, I see some more bids came in. My chat is frozen. There's my sold. Looks like Debbie Labor got that for $20. Okay. Doesn't look like much from the outside, does it? But -da, check this out. Oh, yeah, there is more duckies. More duckies. These are on, uh, it's not, it's like an old linen. And I think what somebody did was took this frame and framed these super old pieces. Let me see if I can get close and show you the stitching. So these are little hand stitched pieces. And then here's the little chicky noodles stitched onto there. So very vintage cool. I thought about keeping this one for my own Easter decor, but who am I kidding? I have no room to decorate. I have too many turtles all over. So, <laughs> but this, yeah, this is super duper a piece I would keep if I were decorating because I love this piece. And when you're done with Easter, it just, it folds up and gets, you know, put away nice and safe. We are at $26. I'm at $35. I see Polly's projects. $35. 35 is where we're at. We're going to count it down because we got to finish this sale. $35. Going once. Going twice. Oh, I'm shining the light on you guys. And so. Need to put bunny ears on the turtles. That's not a bad idea. I could I could totally get down with that decorating idea. <laughs> okay, and Polly's projects. You do not get to outbid yourself, so we're gonna take your $35. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, this is an adorable little mug and underplate saucer. Uh, it is by Day Spring called Really Wooly. So they have a whole line of these. Oops, come on, you were focusing. That'd be nice. Come on. Oh my goodness, this camera and me are just going to go to war. We're going to go to war. I really need to find a webcam that doesn't do this. Ah. Really? There we go. There you go. Day Spring cards. There's all the goodies on it. Um, but here, look. Look, it's a Really Wooly. Drinking coffee. There's drinking coffee on that side too. And then the little plate just has a little green. And it's a really heavy duty, um, like almost like a restaurant wear kind of feel. 
And inside it says, this is the day the Lord has made, Psalm 118, 24. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And it's on both sides. Whether you're right or left-handed, you get your, your really wooly and your scripture. So there we go. We are at $20 with Mary Spry. $20 with Mary Spry. We're going to count down quicker now. Because we have to finish. I have stuff to give away. Give away, give away, give away stuff. Oh, yes. All right. Going once. Going twice. And so. Oops, sorry. Dollar Tree Store has bunny ears for $1. Okay, but do they have little miniature bunny ears? Because <laughs> of my little tortoise, what, what sit abouts, I, I have little, little heads. <laughs> Pamela, Pamela, I'm so sorry. Lois got the mug for $28. Okay, I just thought this was fun, guys. This is just fun. And it's very spring. And I, there's no other time I could ship this other than right now. This has to be shipped to somebody right now or it stays. How about some watermelon citronella candles? Look at that. I mean, I almost want to keep these, but they're so spring. They're so spring and fun. So at this point, a lot of you have free shipping if you have spent more than $50. So this is just a little throw into your package. Oh my goodness, we can put bunny ears on Peanut and she can bounce around like a bunny. I'm sure she would just love that. Of course, I did just buy her a little, a little piggy costume, which you guys will see in a video. <laughs> All right. I smell. They don't, they don't smell that. They don't, they don't smell like watermelon. They don't smell like they don't smell like citronella either. That's what's weird. All right. Hey, Shirley Pearl. I got Shirley Pearl at $10. We're going to count them down. We're going to count it down going once. We're going to count it down going twice. She does already jump on her back legs. We're going to call the candles sold. Yeah, we're going to give some stuff away. Get all my goodies. Get all my goodies over here. Get all my goodies over here. Over here. Da, 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 da. All right. And Bree has my underbitter names ready to go for this. Because you didn't need to buy a thing in order to be in this drawing. Okay. Lois got that for $11. All right. So here's the deal with the giveaway. I'm going to draw names. And there are six selections. So please, please, please be ready with the item that you would like for your giveaway. Um, so we can keep this rolling right along. So your choices are, I've got this little guy, egg cup. I don't know. He's fancy. He's wearing a tux. I don't know if he's an egg cup or a cup because if you hold him upside down, you could, I mean, he's like a shot glass. <laughs> um, but I think he's meant to be an egg cup. Egg would sit. Oh, wait. Let's test that theory. Look, look, he's an egg cup. All right. So we got the egg cup. We've got a little porcelain shoe little porcelain shoe we have a little white flocked bunny now this guy has a little bit of damage a little damage he is not the greatest of quality but he's one of those little vintage banks and he does have his little stopper we have now i don't know how spring this is but maybe this is in honor of coco chanel um eiffel tower or no 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 Leaning Tower of Pisa. 
which I think I wrote that wrong. I, I wrote Eiffel Tower on me, but I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's the Leaning Tower of Pisa trinket box. And we have a little, a little bunny, a little bunny, a little bunny girl. And $10 shipping credit. We have $10 shipping credit is one of the choices as well. So, here we go. I need to go back up in my spreadsheet. Here we go. Oh, you wrote down the underbitters. Oh, we've got them. We've got them on the spreadsheet. All right. The first winner is Deborah Heinbecker. Deborah Heinbecker. Which item would you like, my dear? You are the first winner. And I have to wait for the lag. So while I'm waiting for the lag, I am going to pick the next name and have that person ready. Deborah takes the trinket box. Deborah takes the trinket box. Okay. Um, then we have Lana Mortsfield. Lana Mortsfield. Which item would you like, my dear? Which item would you like, uh, Lana? Lana, 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 jig, jig, jig. I don't know why that song came to my mind, but I'm sorry. You know what? No, 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 no. I messed up. I just totally messed up. I was reading. I was reading the wrong side of the spreadsheet. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Oopsie. Okay. I'm so bad. Um, let me fix this. How can I fix this? So my winners are, I've got Patty Shaw. Deborah, I'm still going to give you the trinket box because you jumped right in and, and said it. Okay, hold on. So Patty Shaw, Patty Shaw, and Sue Golembeski. Golembeski. Sue, I know. Oh, my gosh. That's what happens. And Sue Golombeski. So Patty Shaw gets next pick, and Sue Golombeski gets next pick after that. Are you guys still here? <sighs> I hate when I mess stuff up like that. That is my brain. That is my brain. And Rachel, did you get that fixed? Because I totally messed that up. Patty Shaw takes the shoe. Patty Shaw takes the shoe. And I'm not hearing from Sue. Is Sue still here? Um, I, I that name was by mistake. Lana, I will I will give you something. Just hang tight. Well, I'll make this right. I will make this right. I've got Ann Mahoney. Ann Mahoney. Uh oh, Jordan's confused. Melissa, you might have to help her on the spreadsheet. I don't have a cow planter. Okay, Sue left. Okay. So, Lana, are you talking about the egg cup? Must be present to win. Yep. Lana, are you talking about the egg cup? And let me check something here. See if it would be. And I'm going to give you $10 shipping credit. How would that be? You're not Jordan. I know you're not Jordan. That's why I got you some backup. Okay. Yeesh. I confused myself. It's all good. It's all good. All right. So what do I have left? I have the two bunnies. I have two bunnies left. I'm giving the shipping to Ann Mahoney. 
Warren Hart. Oh, Anne, that is so sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Did I, did I call you, Jordan? I didn't call you, Jordan, did I? Did I? Oh, well, you know what? I called Jordan Rachel the other day when I was there, too. So, <laughs> oopsie. Warren, are you still here? I think it's hard to give this stuff away now. I think it's hard to get the, it is a mom thing. It is a mom thing. All right, we're moving on. Barbara and Bundo, are you still here? Oh, the girl bunny goes to Warren. Barbara, are you still here? Barbara, 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 Barbara. Are you still here, Barbara? Tall one and short one. All right, Barbara's going to take the bunny. Yay! Whew, I got myself out of that pickle, didn't I? Oh, yeehaw. That was embarrassing. All right, everyone, I can't thank you enough for your participation, for your helping to support the Niche Foundation for showing up for these week after week. Um, I never intended for this to be an ongoing thing. When I did the first jewelry sale, I was only going to do one. I was It was just to raise funds um, for the Niche Foundation to get our filing done. And you guys have made it like such a thing. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just so humbled by the turnout and that you love the stuff like it feels really good to me that you love the stuff that i offer it makes it super fun for me to go out and shop for stuff now that i get to know you guys and you know through the mystery box questionnaires and stuff i'm learning other things that you guys like so i can support your collecting habits and all of that good stuff but um i, I have to say thank you to all of my moderators everybody over there with a wrench next to their name. They are volunteers. Their, their pay is low <laughs> and they come and they do this. And I just am so appreciative because I couldn't do this by myself. There's no way, no how, I wouldn't even try. Um, the egg cup goes to Lana. Lana Mortsfield got the egg cup. And um, I just, this is so much fun. I look so forward to Fridays now. Um, you guys, you are my community out there and I love you guys and just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will get invoices out tonight, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I got to go finish setting up for a yard sale while I still got daylight um, and then I'm going to come back in and I'm going to get the, the invoices out. Watch for tomorrow's video. It is the continuation of the trip to San Diego and... Um, the continuation of the flea market. You'll see all of Jordan's, you know, fun finds in there and all that good stuff. And with that, you guys, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one. All right, everyone. Bye. I see a dog in the hallway. Uh-huh. That's becoming tradition. Okay. I'm really signing off now. <laughs>